Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Banana Gaming, and, uh, well, Bennett is not here, as I explained in the last episode, but welcome to episode two of the Minecraft Mod Experience. And, uh, well, the mods we have added today are Tinker's Construct and the Copper Forge mod. And I think the link will be in the description for at least one of them. Hopefully. Probably not, though. I really don't understand how that whole link thing works. Anyways, follow me and we'll get right into it. Oh, damn, damn, it didn't work. But for both of these mods, we will have to have a bunch of metals. Like, a lot of metals. So, I'll, do, I'll start a mine, like, right over here and do some off-camera mining. Yeah. Might take, like, might be long, like, a, maybe, like, half an hour. Anyways, I'll see y'all when it's done. Anyway, so um, I only got a little bit of resources before my pickaxe broke, which is to be expected considering it was stone. But yeah, I got 36 iron and 46 copper. Which, honestly, now I'm thinking about that, isn't that much. I'm not going to bore you with waiting for that to smelt. So I'll briefly explain what these mods do. First, the most simple of them is the Copper Forge. It basically adds more utilities to copper, such as more armor and tools. And the Tinker's Construct, you can make you... Okay, cool. I don't know. I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. You could at least shut the door. Anyways, that was interesting. So on the Tinker's Contract, you can make these uh, things called... What was it called again? Hang on. Not pallets. It was a gold something. And you can make tool forges and stuff. But what more? It's a barricade. Ah, the patterns. Not pallets. Anyways, yeah, you can melt down ores, put them in different pallets to make different things, like a pickaxe head, like a blade, stuff like that. And obviously, I can't make them because I'm just using a crafting table and not a stencil table or a pretty sure it was called a part builder yeah anyways i shall pause the video and oh wait one more thing is the drying rack which can turn 
uh, uncooked items into jerky and cooked items into leather. It's pretty neat. So the barricades are just building items. And yeah. What is an EFLN? No, yeah, whatever. Also, shurikens and glow balls? This mod is sick. Blood? The frick? That is weird. Alright, well, um, uh, resume the video once all this is done smelting. Alright, so I'm back, and you may be wondering. Why do you have a bunch of sand, gravel, and clay? Well, that is because, my good friend, we need this thing known as grout. And to obtain grout, you need all those things. And you may be wondering, why do we need grout? Well, my friend, it's actually because, hang on. We need this thing that unrolls it. Hang on. quite confusing at first, but it's actually quite basic. Also, I really need to turn this music down. Why is it at a hundred? You know, why is it like ten? Alright. So, whilst that is smelting, we can do the, the next thing. It's the second mod. Finally gonna get some armor. Those are more of a later game stuffs. Like, who has the time to make two frog lights? Anyway, so, so we got some basic armor, just as good as iron. And we got some seared bricks. Anyway, these are the three basic things that you need. Casting table, smeltery controller, and casting bin. Gonna take some of these. Also gonna go get some glass. You know what, I'll just uh, report back once I've gotten all the stuff. Alright, I got a... Bunch more seared bricks and some glass. What is this? Here, I have no clue what that does. Oh. All right. 
Actually, I need more seared bricks for the build I'm trying to make. Oh, guess it's time for more waiting. Alright, I have gotten everything and I'm ready to start building. So first of all, we're going to have a casting bin, smelt, a uh, casting table, and the seared smelter. Or the melter. Whichever you prefer. Okay, good. Then we're going to have the smeltery controller. Crap, I forgot to get the other one. Hang on. Alright. Wait a minute. Does this have a snap compound going against? Oh, who gives a crap? Got one seared brick left. Oh uh, yeah, this is the setup. Nice, and I shall go back in the mine, hopefully find a cave and get some lava. Alright, I'm back. Anyways, I'm gonna turn this fan off. Why does this fan turn off? Okay, here. <sighs> Anyways, I got... Just a little bit of loud, just a little bit. Anyways, I did a little bit of mining, just a little bit, and yeah. Alright. So then I should be able to just do this. How do you do this? Is it like, what is it? How do you do this? Hello, Mr. Parrot. Uh, you need to get off. Oh. I just got the parrot. Okay. Weird. Get off me, you dumb parrot. Uh, whatever. Alright. I really don't understand how this is meant to work. <gasps> oh, right.
right, I need to grab a bucket from here, put it in here. What? Should've worked. This is odd. Hang on, guys, let me figure this out. Anyways, yeah, I figured it out, and as you can see, I smelted a lot of iron, considering I do not have any iron left. Which might not have been the best decision. Oh, wait. Wait, never mind, that for that I have some iron reserves for armor and armor. Anyway, so yeah. Figured it out. <laughs> Down there's extra storage for more stuff. And I got this lovely sword. I can joust at people. Jump forward. That's pretty cool. And I got this iron lumber axe and the iron pickaxe. Alright, I smelted down the top of here. So when Bennett gets back on, I can make some stuff for him. Or well, you know, I could use this leftover iron, maybe. Sorted out. We can go test out the weapons. Baby zombie. actually used a long sword before, if you can't tell. You know what this guy trades? Hopefully it's something good. Sometimes you can get something good. Not all that bad, I got, there's ice. Pretty much the only good thing, also I really don't have an emerald, so... Ooh, more food. So I think that's the end of this episode, and we'll, uh, hopefully uh, Bennett will be on for the third one. And I guess I'll see y'all next time.